na miezi mitano tangu kufungua ama ku, uh, kufungua mimba yake kutambulika kwenye kidimbwi cha maji kilichoachwa wazi juma moja alipokuwa likijengwa mama mmoja mtaani embakasi bado anaomboleza kifo cha mwanawe huku juhudi za kutafuta haki zikigonga mwamba na mama huyo analia kwamba jitihada za kumshtaki mmiliki wa jengo hilo zinahujumiwa na mmiliki huyo huku maafisa upelelezi wakizidi kutoa viji sababu vya kucheleweshwa kwa kesi hiyo katika makala maalumu ya haki ya mwana Agnes Olo anaangazia uchungu wa mama Joyce Opondo kumpoteza mwanawe. Siku ya mwisho ya mwaka wa 2022 ilikuwa Jumamosi, kwa wengine ilikuwa Sabato na pia ilikaribisha sherehe za kuashiria mwaka mpya, mwaka wa 2023. Lakini kwa Joyce Opondo siku hiyo iligeuka na kuwa ya huzuni. Tunapatana na mama huyu akiwa eneo la Awasi kaunti ya Kisumu. Mbali sana na mtawa Imbakasi jijini Nairobi alikoishi na wanawe. Mimi ni mama wa mtoto watatu. The one is lost. He's late. That was my first born. Sasa nimebaki na watoto wawili wasichana. Joyce ameishi hapa kwa miezi minne sasa. Kumbukumbu za siku hiyo zingali zinamwandama. Kaburi la kifungwa mimba wake, Sled Russell, mtoto wa miaka minane, lingali changa. On the Sabbath we go all of us I carry all my kids to church. Sasa tukaenda mbele tukaimba vizuri and my son was seated somewhere just watching. Alafu after kumaliza akakuja kani hug. Akaniambia mami I loved the way you sang. I wish you could sing again with you next time nikamwangalia kwa macho nikamwambia baba tutaimba na wewe tena. Akaniambia ti mama I want to go to the toilet. Kamuliza to the toilet now why? At impressed just let me go. And then he walked out. Baada ya muda mfupi, mimi nikatoka tu nje was talking to a friend. And then hata kabla nimueleze kitu nilileta kumuongelesha someone came. One of the church members akakuja kuniambia wewe mama uko hapa na mtoto wako ako kwa maji. Kwa mujibu ya walioshuhudia, watoto walikuwa wanacheza karibu na eneo ambalo wakati moja ujenzi ulikuwa unaendelea. Nikaona tu from afar, it was really open that place you could see it from outside. Nikaona tu sehemu ya maji tu kubwa kabisa. Mimi nilidhani hata ni swimming pool. Kambua ni septic tank yenye ilikuwa inatumika bado walikuwa na jenga. The next thing I remember nilijikuta church in a room we prayed for about three hours my son was still down there in the water three good hours walikuwa watoto wengi ni bahati tu mtoto wa Joyce ndiye ni bahati mbaya mtoto wa Joyce alianguka ndio but pia ni bahati wengine hawako anguka kwa sababu walikuwa kikundi kwa sababu ya urefu wa tangi hiyo shughuli za uokoaji zilichukua saa kadhaa na hatimaye maiti ya mtoto Sled ilipatikana I had to come to terms with the fact that my son was lost. No no, he was gone and he would not come back any soon. It is true that uh, we received uh, a report of a, a child who fell in, into a septic tank. Uh, Russell slept eight, eight years. Uh, fell fell into a septic tank an incomplete septic tank that is and he passed on kulingana na Joyce Sled alikuwa mtoto wake wa kwanza na kifo chake kikiwa pigo kubwa I took a lot of time with my first born raising him kacha de shule college Years. Joyce anasema afisa mpelelezi katika kesi hii alimshauri atafute suluhu nje ya mahakama jambo ambalo limemhangaisha zaidi. Where is the owner of the site? Niliuliza tu kimchezo tu. And then this man came now that we were supposed to talk. Sasa in the process akaanza kuleta story mingi anaanza sijui where is the father of the child you know which which I felt humiliated about. Nikisema this kid was under my care. Alikuwa anasema people die, you know. Mimi nimepoteza sijui mamangu, nimepoteza babangu and I was like, oh, circumstance ilikuwa same. Nilinyamaza by then kimwangalia nilijiuliza tu maswali tu kwa moyo wangu. So, since ulipoteza babako, ni sawa tu. 
Mazungumzo ya nje ya mahakama yalipotibuka, Joyce anasema afisa wa upelelezi alianza kumhangaisha, akaamua kutafuta huduma za wakili. Uh, tulipofuatilia tuligundua kuwa Joyce amejaribu kuandika statement yake kwenye police station, lakini kuna huyu investigating officer ambaye anaitwa India. India alikataa kabisa kuandikisha statement ya Joyce. Joyce angekuja kutoka Kisumu mara kadhaa but haandiki statement. Yeah, plus the I.O. is a lady and I, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that a woman would not feel the pain of another woman. I'm really disappointed. So I'm pleading that action be taken. Action be taken and justice be served for my son. The mother of the child for not yet a statement on, uh, on 17 of February, which of course is uh, uh, about two months from the date of uh, the incident. Uh, I can assure that a statement was recorded, but about the issue of frustrations, I might not be able to tell you. Mizi minne baadae, hakuna yeyote aliyeshitakiwa. Osipidiwa embakasi Wesley Kimeto ambaye kufikia wakati wa mahojiano haya ndio alikuwa ameanza kazi eneo hilo alisema haya Yeah to me it appears like uh, it's true that it has taken some time but uh, it is due to the fact that uh, the owner the alleged owner has been uh, evading a uh, uh, police Jamaa anaidaiwa kuwa miliki wa jengo hilo Hassan Osman akizungumza kwa njia ya simu alisema anashirikiana na polisi huku akisisitiza hakuhusika na kifo cha mtoto huyo. Hii kijana mimi si huyu. Bado huwa mimi si kijana. Na polisi wanasema kwamba wana kwa wanajificha eti wamekuita. Na, na ficha nini? Yaani ya polisi sisi mtakutana. Ni kweli kijana alikufa? Si huyu, mimi si huyu. Na si unaniambia ushaka kuja Nairobi? Mimi na juaji, mimi na juaji, mimi sijui hao wanasema kwa chukicha leo tumeshakufa. Na sisi hajui, bado waona mimi sina hakika. Mimi ni mwanahabari na aha, nilikuwa natafuta upande wako. Mambo hii mimi siukusiti. Mambo habari wewe ndikisha gaseli. Ni tukio lililomvunja moyo Joyce Opondo akakata kauli ya kuhamia mashambani kama njia moja ya kuliwaza the lifeless body of my son i was so broken so broken i could not open that less so kwa data sura yake you know tulitafuta taarifa kuhusu iwapo kuna sheria au taratibu zinazohusu majengo kama hayo ambapo shughuli zimesitishwa au pale ambapo kazi inaendelea mhandisi Morris Akech ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa mamlaka ya ujenzi nchini anatuelezea hata kikoma kwa njia fulani ama gani lazima developer ahakikishe hiyo kazi hiyo site hiyo pahala pa kujenga amewacha kwa njia ya e, usalama ambapo aita atarisha maisha ya mwananchi kwa njia yoyote ikifanyika kwamba jengo limewachwa eh, ikiwa kwa njia ya tatanishi hatua uh, inafaa ichukuliwe uh, justice ipatikane kwa sasa Joyce anaendelea kuwaomba maafisa husika kuharakisha shughuli zao ili mwanawe hatimaye apate haki <coughs> Agnes Uluka Chola Runinga ya Citizen Awasi County ya kisumu